Hello Watch fans, this is Anders here on Watch On Channel. It's time for the review of the brand new Yema Flygraph, the new or revamped Flywatch, Pilot's Watch, Military Aviation Watch. The French brand Yema has sent this watch in for review for loan. It's going back full disclosure. So the watch comes in this really nice leather pouch or leather box here. I did do an unboxing first impressions video of this watch if you want to see it with the full packaging you can click the link up in the right hand corner or down in the description. And also before I open the box here to show you the watch. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button it is a big help thank you. So Yema logo Yema name and then we open and here we find the watch. This is the new Flygraph the original Flygraph was released by Yema in the 1970s and now they have re-released, revamped and modernized this big and also kind of tooly pilot's watch from Yema. And I did remove quite a few links, four links as you can see here from the H-Link bracelet. So that means if you have a larger wrist than I do, then you should be able to actually find a nice fit. You can also choose to buy this watch on the leather strap or maybe get one of the Yema rubber straps, black rubber straps. It looks really great on different straps. So what we have here is an automatic chronograph watch. You see kind of a complicated dial. This is powered by the Valshu movement, the ETA Valshu movement, which is used by a lot of brands. This is the 7750. So this is not Yema's own in-house movement as it is with the dive watch here. The good thing about this is that it's very easy to service. Everyone, every watchmaker can service one of these ETA Valshu movements. This version is the blue version. As you can see, you can go on Yema's website, link down in the description. If you want to see more information about this watch, other Yema watches and other versions of this Flygraph. So as you can see here, quite a complicated look. We get a bi-directional bezel here. You do get some nice resistance, no clicks. But this is on the part, outer part here, the blue darker part. This is the tachymeter where you can actually measure speed. And then you get a slide rule counter on the gray area. So you can use it to count, for example, how much fuel you have left on your aircraft. Because of course you're a professional pilot flying your own aircraft with this watch. Well, I'm not, so I'm just reviewing it. Then we have the dial here up here at Below 12 o'clock or at 12 o'clock, we have the 30 minute counter. Then we have the running seconds at nine. And down here we have a 12 hour counter at six o'clock. On the side here, you can see just between a date change, we have Yema automatic, we have Flygraft, we have the Yema logo, and then we have the day date complication. So this movement is a very tried and tested movement and it does have 48 hours of power reserve. It has 25 joules, so a really good movement choice. I also really like the way that Yema with this layout of the Valshu 7750, they kind of made the dial on the flygraph look like the board or like the instrument board of a airplane. So that looks really cool. You also see we get this nice arrow pointing chronograph hand, these really cool hands on the sub dials. And then we get this kind of cream colored loom. This is Swiss Super Luminova on the hands with these simple sword style hands. Everything is very legible as it should be with a fly watch, a pilot watch. The case is polished on the sides and on the top of the locks here. You also see a really nice chamfering here, which is polished, really gives some nice play and light to the dial. Then we have an H-link style bracelet. You get brushed outer links or the H-links are brushed and then you get polished inner links. Everything is held together by this Yema fold over clasp with the Yema logo. I'm not a huge fan of these clasps. It's not because they are not good with these micro adjustments and not because they are not secure. Also, they are small and slim, so that's good. The problem is it's simply just too primitive. This is a watch that is priced at 1,900 euros, but 1,900 US dollars isn't a cheap price. I think it's kind of a fair price for this watch because it is an original design by Yema. They make everything themselves, of course, not the movement, but, but it is definitely not cheap to make these watches. You also see we get the nice information here, Yema established in 1948. Also, I really like the Yema logo and I always like the case backs of Yema watches here 
we get 10 bar, so 100 meters of water resistance, that is really, really good for one of these crown graphs, and it doesn't even have a screw on crown. Simple polished pushers, very effective. So let's just try to stop the crown graph and reset it. It's really a joy to click, listen. Just a very satisfying click. The watch is 40.3 millimeters in diameter. It is 48.6 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip, but with female end links, that is the size you're going to wear. With male end links, the bracelet would look like this, but with female end links, it's like this. So it wears very true to its lock to lock dimension. Then you have a bracelet, a lock width here, and a bracelet tapering from 20 down to 18 millimeters. Nice taper, maybe you can just sense it and you can see the polished center links here. And then you have a thickness of 15.7 millimeters. So this is definitely not a small watch. And that is also because you have 1.8 millimeter domed sapphire crystal, as you can see here. Really beautiful dome. So if they removed and just made it made it completely flat. I wouldn't like the look as much as I like this look, but it will only be 14 millimeters. This is a big watch. It's not wearing very big, it's wearing tall, but if you like your watches heavier, taller, more prominent, this is definitely a watch you should look into because it is a big watch, at least with the thickness. And then we have a 6.5 millimeter crown, which is protected by crown guards here. Again here, maybe you can just see you can just sense how the dial is laid out. You get this instrument board kind of look. I really like the part here where they put a, an extra layer to the to the dial, you can see. Really beautiful blue, mysterious blue. Kind of reminds me a lot of the mysterious blue that they use on the dive watch here, on the Superman 500, you see. This is darker, this is a little bit lighter. So why not have an accuracy test? Because this is a very accurate and healthy movement. You see, we get plus four to five seconds per day. That is absolutely amazing. That is within COSC certification tolerances, although this is not a COSC certified watch. We get very, very nice amplitude around 300, meaning this is a very healthy movement and absolutely no beat error almost. So this is just a really healthy, good and strong movement. So just a little about the brand Yema before we move on to some more details about this watch and conclude the review. So Yema was established in 1948. It was actually in 1982, the first French watch in space, that was the Spatial Nord 1 in 1982. But just four years prior to this, Yema was actually bought by Seiko. So for several years, Yema was owned by Seiko. Seiko bought the company in 1988. In 2004, it was bought back to France and again sold in 2009. And now they are back with a vengeance. So they can just go into the archives and find some really cool designs and do modern remakes of their cool legendary watches. Of course, also a loom shot. I'm pretty happy with the loom. Of course, it's not super much a loom watch because you don't have too much loom in the hands and also the loom markings on the dial, they are not very big, but I think you get a nice loom application and a nice glow with this loom on the Yema. So on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist, you can see I can easily pull off this watch because it's only a little more than 40 millimeters in diameter and it's less than 49 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip and you have this very kind of just dramatic end to the locks short locks on this watch, pretty short locks, at least they're curving very much down, you see, so it just wears very true to its size. The thing you should be aware of is the thickness. It wears kind of like the Tudor Black Bay Pro, which I tried a few months ago, very thick. It is, of course, also not a very light watch because you have this big case, a lot of stainless steel went into making this watch. So you see here, I did remove four links and still we get approximately 169 grams. So not in any way a light watch. So a lot of great things about this watch to conclude the review. I really like the dial layout. I really think it looks cool. It looks very vintage inspired. It looks very tooly and it does look like the cockpit instrument board of an airplane. I like the Valshu 7750. You do get the Valshu wobble with the rotor inside, but you get a very nice tried and tested movement. And the particular movement in this watch is really, really accurate, really healthy. So that's a great thing. The loom is okay. I like the overall design and I like the case finish. The bracelet is really, really good. The clasp is a letdown. It does its job, but I think this is simply too cheap of a clasp. And I said this many times with Yema watches, cool case pack, really nice 
action with the pushers, everything is aligned and accurate and everything, but it does wear thick. So this is definitely not a watch I would wear as an everyday watch in my personal taste. But if you do like your watch is tall and prominent, this is a quality watch, no doubt about it. You do dig into French aviation history. You do dig into French watchmaking history with this Yemma watch. So I hope you enjoyed the review of this Yemma Flygraph. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and subscribe to my channel. Again, hit the link down in the description if you want to visit Yemma watches. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.